Well, welcome into Getting Help from Uncle Sam. You know, last year, about this time, the legislature was getting ready to kick off the 2020 session. Everything seemed normal, but boy, as soon as they hit the gavel, everything started to unravel. And luckily at that point, we had a very good Speaker of the House who's still here, Mac McCutcheon. Mac, welcome back. We're glad Thank to you. have you on the show again this year. Thank you. And you represent District 25, which is Limestone in Madison County. That's correct. That's You've correct. been a representative since 2006 mm -hmm. and took over as Speaker of the House in 2016. That's right. That's right. It's been quite a ride. It has been. It <laughs> has been. We've had a lot of challenges and a lot of rewards along the way, but uh, it's, a, it's an honor to serve the people of Alabama mm -hmm. and truly an honor to be able to uh, oversee the uh, proceedings in the House chamber. Absolutely. Well, last year was kind of like business as usual. This year you're going to have business, but it's not going to be as usual. What are some of the changes that are going to happen? Well, I think uh, uh, one of the most uh, significant changes is going to be public access. Okay. Uh, the, the, the number one priority for those of us in leadership in the House and the Senate is, of course, the safety Absolutely. of the staff the and the members yes. and then any public that comes mm -hmm. in or out of the building. So we've got to keep that in mind. Uh, things will not move as fast. They will not move in the normal legislative process mode, but we plan to work hard and get the business done of the people. And uh, some of the th changes that's gonna be is that public access into the building will be restricted. Okay. What we're going to do is the Senate, uh, their office space is a little larger than the representatives. And there's less senators than yeah, representatives. Yeah, there's just 35 that, senators right. where you've got 105 members right. in, the, in the House. And Triple. so because of that, office space is, is more limited. Social distancing uh, is more difficult for House members mm -hmm. than it would be for Senate. So what we're going to do, we're going to close off the fourth, fifth, and sixth floors of the State House to, to public, the public access. Okay. To public access. Yes. And what will happen is, is that if you want to meet uh, a representative or a representative has need to meet with you for uh, a discussion over a piece of legislation, uh, okay. something that's going on in their district, uh, then what we're going to do is assign rooms on the first and second floors that have more space in okay. them so the members can schedule a meeting, mm -hmm. meet with their constituents and or anybody that uh, needs to talk with them. They'll schedule that meeting and be able to go down and sit in a room to where they have proper space. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be, you know, a, a big difference. Uh, one of the things that uh, that I'm really concerned about, and that is, uh, I, I feel like that when we're dealing with the legislative process, we need to make sure that there's transparency. Yes. Because the work we do is for the people. Absolutely. And you represent your people. Yes. That's it. Yes. And, and because of that, um, uh, this has been a real challenge for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to uh, give COVID tests to staff and members when they come in. So mm -hmm. they'll, they'll at least have a test. And people say, well, the tests are not 100% uh, uh, accuracy. Yeah. But at least we've got to do everything You've that got to we do, can. You have to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got to do everything we can to minimize the yes. risk. Yes. We can't minimize it to 100%, but we can do everything we can mm -hmm. to minimize it. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come in and we're going to work for two weeks. We're going to do two three-day weeks. Normally okay. we meet on Tuesday, Thursday session, Wednesday committee days. Okay. But the first two weeks of the session, starting on February the 2nd, we're going to come in and we're going to do two three-day weeks. We're going to have session day Monday, uh, I'm sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, during those times, we're going to address legislation. And then at the end of the two weeks, we're going to take off for a week and leadership will sit down and we'll do an assessment of where we are. If what we put in place, is it working? Uh, mm -hmm. Do we have any sickness in the building? Uh, and we're just going to do a total assessment of everything we've got. If things are going well, then we plan to come back in that fourth week and start again. And, uh, same procedure, the same, three, three well, day week. Well, we don't okay. know. We don't know. Just yet. depends on what you find out in that third week. That's, that's right, right, that's right. Because it, cause it's going to be fluid. You mm -hmm. know, th this whole, when you look back over the, the 2020 year, the whole uh, pandemic and the, the COVID issue, it's always been fluid. You, yes, What yes. you do today may not be the best thing that's right. tomorrow. That's right. And so we're going we're gonna to have to do a good assessment to see what we're doing. We may want to make some tweaks and a few changes. Mm -hmm. Then again, uh, hopefully uh, vaccines, the vaccinations to people in the state will be uh, going full speed 
and the virus will be on the downcline. Mm -hmm. And so if that's the case, then we may be able to come back in on that fourth week and just continue the rest of the session as normal. We, we just don't know yet. Mm -hmm. But we do know that the thing that's going to be priority is safety. Absolutely. Because uh, we've got to protect the staff. And we've got to protect the members. Because if, if we have a COVID outbreak in the state house, mm -hmm. then it's going to shut everything down. Yeah. So, uh, so that's, that's, those are the things that, that we're going to be working on. And our viewers need to realize the fact that they have representatives. The best time to talk to their representative is not when they're at the house. That's true. Working. They're, I mean, they're, busy. they're they're there all the time. They're in your they're right in your own backyard, so to speak. Yes. And that's the best time to get with them. Yeah, I'm encouraging all of our representatives to uh, to uh, uh, not conduct business as normal, to be accessible, mm -hmm. to keep your cell phones handy, Zoom calls, virtual yes. capabilities. They can do it uh, all. We have we have taken all of our committee meeting rooms, and we have limited every room committee room down to five. Uh, places in mm -hmm. the state house and the capitol building so we're going to have five committee rooms that uh, uh, are the are the largest rooms we've got mm -hmm. so we can have social distancing and then uh, uh, we're going to have virtual capability in those committees so every capable uh, every committee meeting will have virtual capability so the public can be uh, uh, in tune with what's going on in the committee if they have mm -hmm. an interest uh, news media will have access to the building right. and they'll be provided space in every committee meeting in the chamber proceedings and they'll be uh, able to be the voice for the public as well. And then the other thing that we've done is that uh, because of the 105 member uh, space that we have in the chamber, we're going to open up our gallery and we're going to open up two overflow rooms to where we can have the members in the house spread all together. Out. They're spread out, but, but they'll, they'll be, be there. working together. Yes, and that's sick. When, I, I don't. I know you're familiar with it. The yes. public may not be, but when you get off of the elevator on the sixth floor, mm -hmm. you go up to the left to the gallery. Right. That area is going to be roped off, mm -hmm. and that will become the designated chamber space. So all of the members that will be working from the gallery and the overflow rooms will have voting iPads. Mm -hmm. if, uh, you, you may not remember this, but when you made mention earlier about the fact that in 2020, when we had the COVID outbreak, we had to come back in in May and pass our budgets. Yes. Well, we did that. Uh, the House votes electronically. Mm -hmm. And so we did that uh, under very difficult circumstances because a member would have to come to the mic they would have to announce their vote, and then the clerk on the floor would have to literally vote their machine for them. Mm -hmm. And so this year what we've done, we've got voting pads, so all of the members, whether they're in the gallery or the mm -hmm. overflow, they'll have access. Yes. And so that's going to help us speed things up a lot and help the process work better. That'd be great. Well, before we leave, if our viewers are just wondering about all the things we said, is there a site they can go to? that'll kind of explain what's happening this year? Yes, the uh, Alabama uh, uh, legislative website, okay. Allison. Okay. The acronym of Allison. Uh, <laughs> but you can go to the Alabama legislature information website. And you and, get all the you, information. You can get all the information, and you can also be able to stream the proceedings on that website. Very good, very good. So not only will you be able to hear the proceedings, you'll be able to see it through video good. as well. Well, thank you for the work you're doing. It's leadership, and that's what it takes. And I'm glad to see two weeks on, and then we're going to assess. Yes. Because that's very important. Yeah. And yeah. then move forward. All right. Well, okay. thank you for having me. I Absolutely. And I'm going to get you back in, because a couple other things we need to find out about what happened in the country. Okay. Okay? All right. And just remember this. They are your representatives. They represent you. See them when they're home in your district, because... That's the best time, and it's the best time from a safety procedure also. And we'll be right back right after this.